Hey, what is it, guys? Rich Homie Quinn here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to grow your socials on all platforms if that's Twitch, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, everything, and eventually being able to join a team or an org. Uh, so, there's a bunch of secrets that people don't like to share with each other, but you know me, I'm going to be showing you guys the goodies. So, let's hop straight into it. So, the first thing that I want to talk about is something that I regret that I didn't do, and that was putting my Twitch in my username. So, this can go for any game, just making sure that you have your Twitch, your Instagram, your TikTok, basically your main social as your username is going to be super, super huge when it comes to content growth because um, it's something that I didn't have at the very start of Fortnite. I killed some people like Myth, Daquan, when they're averaging thousands of viewers and I was streaming at the time. If I had Twitch in my name, I could have gotten a huge fall and I also could have got accused of stuff and then you never know. A lot of people end up you know, blowing up off of being accused of being a stream sniper when they're just nasty at the game. So that's something that I wish I would have done far far back that I definitely recommend you guys to do um, another thing is that you know six months into streaming I've had tons of people uh, when I started getting like 20 30 40 views they would come in and be like oh bro I never know knew that you streamed and that you're cracked and whatnot and I'm like man I wish I would have twitch in my name so then people would know that I stream another thing is, is that having twitch or YouTube in your name is sort of seen as cringe or sort of weird now um, when everyone used to do it and a lot of people blew up because of it um, people hate on others for having twitch or YouTube in their name uh, when most of the time that it only really does help out your brand someone might go in there to be positive like hey oh you just destroyed me GG's or they might go in and be like bro you're terrible at the game stop playing like a absolute pussy um, but then if you act you know treat them with kindness then they might be like bro I'm sorry for treating you like that and you're actually kind of dope um, keep up the grind. All right, guys, let's start off with hopping into Instagram. Instagram is honestly my favorite platform, and it's the one that I'm best with the growth. So a lot of the stuff here that I'm going to be telling you guys is going to help you guys out significantly. Um, so the first thing I sort of want to talk about is sort of how to post. A lot of people end up struggling when it comes to post or whatnot. Um, so the biggest thing is to make sure that your posts aren't too long and that they have a good thumbnail. Thumbnail is really, really huge when it comes to algorithm. Um, so at the very bottom here there's a cover and you get to choose your cover for the clip um, and you can also trim your clip to make sure that it's not long you want to get it straight to the action and make sure that the attention span is going to be very high uh, when it comes to post um, so besides post there's honestly a lot of things too making sure that you use a lot of hashtags I usually just put as many hashtags as possible um, I have a list that's going to be in the link down below that you guys can use so another thing that I want to talk about is follow for follow so this is something that is very common on Instagram TikTok, and Twitter not so YouTube or Twitch but I got those covered later in the video um, so you can basically go onto a big team a big player and you basically click on their name you go to their followers and then you sort of see their recent following and then you follow those people because those are the most active people that are online right now so these people are people that recently followed Reet so they're most likely going to get a notification and also follow me back after they check out my page if they see that I'm cracked or just you know people just don't care about following and sometimes just follow you to show love so this is one way that you can grow followers um, you just got to be careful with limits uh, there's only so many people you can follow at once Instagram is I think it's at 200 so I usually would just do this you know a hundred followers every like 30 minutes and then I would go check my following and unfollow the people that didn't follow me back uh, so this is just one way as you can see people are already following me back obviously the bigger you get the more followers you're gonna get because they're gonna be like damn this guy 50k just followed me um, but as you can see this does work uh, so if you do this in proportions and then follow people uh, periodically uh, you're gonna end up getting some actual supporters that stay and ride with you hopping into the next way to grow on Instagram um, there's a basically a bunch of hashtag sections that you can go check out so if I go to Fortnite mon hashtag Fortnite montage there's 1.9 million posts along with those posts uh, there's a bunch of frequent posts that go with it let's go see if it will actually load there we go so what you want to do is not go on the top but you want to go on the recent so these are people that have just posted this guy posted this stuff 20 seconds ago so you want to spam like and to scroll down hoping that someone sees your notification and ends up doing the same thing to you liking your post or following you back so this is one way that you can end up getting a good following back uh, or just grow when it comes to your numbers on socials there's also another thing that you can do so what I used to do is just sort of have a uh, positive message that I would post under people's pages you can see other people are doing this too um, something like keep up the grind you're nuts and then you'd basically copy and paste this down posts so you're sort of showing fake love but at the same time you're not sort of begging for followers so it was something that I used to do um, 
because you know obviously you're going to be showing positive interaction to them it's not like you're like oh i'm cracked uh am i cracked check me out it's more or less you're just showing love and hoping that they show love back to your page and i honestly think there's nothing wrong with that um so that's a lot of the huge growth when it comes to instagram also just networking talking to other people that has big followers and doing shout outs for shout outs be like hey i'll post your stuff on my page if you posted it on yours i'm um, talking like story um but yeah these are a lot of the techniques that i used to grow on my instagram when i first started out let's hop on to twitter uh, so twitter is different to instagram follow for followers does work but definitely not as well so it's something that i don't recommend too much uh, but there's definitely a lot of ways to grow. I see a lot of content creators and pros doing certain things like this. Uh, so the first thing that I would say is honestly just show love. If you see someone in the community that you like or support, turn on the notifications and then you want to have uh, fast responses under the tweets, whatever they tweet someone. So Booga tweets out this, I say, I use code Booga or something like that. Something other than Nodi Gang, something that has actual meaning to it is gonna be super important. Um, because then that streamer is gonna, you know, realize like, oh, this guy supports me. Someone posted a dope clip, you'd be like, dang, that's a nice shot, or you're cracked, or something like that. So just honestly, just showing love to a streamer is gonna maybe get you a follow back for them. And then when you get that follow back, let's say Booga is following me, right? Now this could work with or without a follow. You basically want to go into the replies, um, and you just want to spam like the comments. So uh, you, since you're the Nodi Gang there's gonna be other people that also have Nodi Gang on. So when you're liking their comments, instead of 10 hours ago, I like this comment, that comment was gonna be posted one to two minutes ago. So they're gonna be on Twitter, they're gonna see the notification, then they're gonna check out your page, they might like up your stuff, or they might follow you back. Not only that, they're gonna be following Booga, right? And since Booga follows me, when they go over to my page, it's gonna say followed by Booga. So then that person's like, oh, this guy's followed by Booga and he's liking my stuff, I'm gonna go follow him and hopefully he follows me back. So basically you can build some credibility and also just grow a following off of that. Um, so it's one of the very small things that you're like, oh, that's how that works. Um, but yeah, definitely having notifications on, liking the post, showing love, and then spam liking comments under. Those people are probably gonna show love back, especially when you're the Nodi game because they're on Twitter for the past one to two minutes. So that's honestly a very unique way to grow on Twitter that I feel like a lot of people do not know how to. So hopping onto YouTube, it's all about being consistent. YouTube is definitely a platform that I struggle in, so there's a lot of stuff that I haven't figured out. Um, I like to be a lot of unique with my content. I like uploading stuff that I like, but sometimes following the algorithm is definitely going to be what's going to be popping off your posts. Uh, so there's a couple things that I have to recommend is that daily posting or every other day posting is super important on YouTube. The more you post on any social media, it's gonna increase your following and it's also increase your views um, because it gives the opportunity for more people to see it. Um, along with that, there's also hashtags that you can use. Uh, and I just really wanna emphasize daily posting on TikTok, Instagram, daily streams, Twitter, um, and YouTube is going to be super important you sort of have to go all in because if you stop posting and then you end up starting to post again you're not going to be recommended to them because they haven't watched your stuff like until like two or three weeks ago versus people that they may have watched you know last night they're going to be recommended that so being really consistent with your posts thumbnails are super important from what i've seen from uh youtube mainly just uh doing trendy stuff trendy titles uh, and just following the algorithm is what it's called so if a song is doing really well for montages, just make a montage with that song if you want to do that way. Or you can, you know, branch out, make your own uh, content that's going to make you unique. But that is definitely a lot more skillful to do uh, that a lot of people cannot replicate. Hopping onto the wonderful platform of TikTok, the most RNG one. Sometimes you blow up off of the dumbest posts. So the most important thing about TikTok is making sure that you spam posts, but making sure on all these social media platforms that you don't get shadow banned. So shadow banned, again, I wanna talk about is basically if you spam like, spam follow, something like that, they sort of see you as a bot and they restrict your activities that you can do. And also sometimes shadow block your videos from getting like viewers and stuff like that because they might think you're a bot trying to be malicious with it. So TikTok, there's a lot of things that you can do when it comes to posting. Uh, you can do follow for follow that sort of works on TikTok pretty well uh, commenting and spamming likes under comments also does work as shown in the previous socials one of the things is when it comes to posts you want to make sure that your post isn't too long uh, and when you're doing a post that you sort of do a couple of things you have a good thumbnail good length 
um, and you can also do trendy songs so like let's say there's like a song that's really popular right now you can add that song let's say it's peaches um, because that's going to be uh, a more recommended on for you pages you know adding effects adding stuff like that and then you know when you get to the post you can do that and then making sure that you put hashtags like hashtag Fortnite, hashtag Fortnite montage whatever it may be um, is definitely going to be helping you grow uh, so that's about the basics for TikTok. Uh, just making sure again you post a lot is definitely going to allow one of your videos to pop off and the biggest thing when it comes to TikTok is that you're going to have a video that hits 100k right and then you expect every other video to hit 100k don't expect that that's like very rng-esque and so don't allow that to demotivate you and just keep posting keep posting because then it's going to happen again and then it's going to happen again and then you're just going to be increasing your following and all that stuff like that um, so biggest thing about doing social media is do not get demotivated and you have to stick to it also this is something that i had to find out the hard way is to not monetize your tiktok account when you monetize your tiktok account um tiktok sort of restricts your for you page uh pop up and stuff like that because they don't want you to make money off of their platform um because it's taken away from them so it's kind of scummy but it's something that a lot of platforms probably also do so making sure that you grow a decent following before going for that monetization is going to be huge when it comes to your success Alrighty, so we're gonna be hopping on to my favorite platform and that is Twitch uh, So there's a bunch of things that I've learned across the lines But the biggest thing about growing on Twitch is that you need to grow on other platforms, you know growing on Instagram TikTok uh, Whatever it may be really helps you grow on Twitch because then you can promote whenever you're streaming whenever you go live Especially on Twitter be like yeah, I'm going live the people come in and they show love drop follows and stuff like that so making sure if you want to grow on Twitch, you have to grow on other socials is super important. Oh, I got a couple more tricks up my sleeve for you guys though, as y'all already know. Starting off with one of the most interesting ones. So this is something that I think Twitch has sort of dealt with over the times, um, but there's tons of streamers. I don't really want to drop their names, but that used to have basically in their title, they would have my favorite streamers and then they'll list clicks, Nick Merrick's Ninja, Benji Fishy. So whenever they were offline and someone, let's say, would like look up like a clicks or something like that, then their channel would pop up. As you can see, there's people like Endry. I told my boy RC to put it in so it could be in the video. Um, but uh, yeah, that's also another way that you can grow on Twitch is by doing that. But overall, the most important thing when it comes to growing on Twitch is growing on all social media. So making sure that you shout out whenever you go live on Twitter um, or Instagram, whatever it may be. Uh, the more socials you grow on, the more expansive your audience is going to be able to be because then you can connect with people from all different places and then you basically get to see what works the best for you. Um, so making sure that you shout out your social medias and giving promotion to all of them uh, and then sort of just focusing on one or two or whatever you want to do. So um, all of this basically gets you set up to join an org uh, when it comes to content creation. And then obviously if you're a competitive player, you can also have placements behind that. So that definitely does help. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy it, drop a like, comment what you guys wanna see next, or if you guys have any tips and uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out boys.